Okay, in a previous section, I had set up a couple of program, well, actually one programmable input to affect two output channels. So I selected toggle mute outputs as my for my programmable input, and you can see I have MO here for mute outputs, and I selected output number one and output number two. And now, what if I wanted, when I push that particular button, not only to mute the two outputs on my SPN 1624, but I also wanted to mute the two outputs, or maybe one output, or three outputs, or an input, whatever I like. I also want to do that on the SPN conference. Now, I don't want to have to run additional wires from the master or from the button to the programmable inputs on the back of the conference unit. So here's what we can do. Let's go to the SPN conference. And um, it asks me, it tells me I have unsaved changes. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now it's loading up the SPN conference settings. And here are its programmable inputs and its programmable outputs. Now, I want the SPN conference to know when a programmable input or a, an external button is pressed on the SPN 1624. I want that information so that I can act on that as well without connecting any additional wiring. So we have something called virtual programmable inputs. Now this here listens to any presses that are happening on the programmable inputs on the master unit. So now since I have programmable input number one on the master unit muting two outputs. I can select a virtual programmable input, and I can have it do the same thing here if I wanted to. I can go to toggle mute outputs, and I can select um, maybe just the telephone to mute, and uh, leave the two codecs untouched and the amplifier untouched. Now what this means is, in the master unit, if I go back to that, we'll click OK. When I press programmable input number one, not only will input one or uh, output channel one and output channel two be muted here, but also the information will be passed on to the conference unit and its virtual programmable outputs will be triggered. So now it will also mute the telephone on the conference unit. And this is true for any other slave devices that are connected to the master. And this enables uh, to have one device, maybe a, a PB-8 you know, or whatever button that you may have hooked up. And when that button is pressed, the master responds and the information is set or sent down to any other slave devices. And you can use the virtual programmable inputs on the slave devices to trigger whatever functions you like based on that button push. And that's how virtual programmable inputs work.